Which waves would best demonstrate diffraction through a doorway? Uh, sound, ultraviolet, visible x-rays. Mm, how would you know? The principle of diffraction works like this. If you have a barrier and you want the most diffraction, then you look at the, the gap of the barrier. Let's call this a certain... I don't know. What gap is this? This gap, okay? Ideally, if you want the best, clearest diffraction, this should be very close to your wavelength of the wave. Roughly, roughly. So, whatever wave that is... I mean, a doorway is pretty big. It could fit a human inside. So, mm, wavelength should be about... If your doorway is, say, one meter, wavelength should be about one meter. Roughly, lah. Come to here, you have very nice diffraction here. So wavelength of 1 meter confirmed cannot be x-ray. This is way too small. So as if we send you an x-ray, it will not even bother to diffract. It will just go straight through the doorway. You send one beam, it just goes straight through. Okay. Imagine the x-ray looking like this. Oh, yeah, I can cannot see. Cannot even see what's going on. Light waves, eh, light waves through a doorway, no, the, the gap is too big. Ultraviolet also, no. Sound waves can be, depending on what sound you are playing. But best, best demonstration for diffraction, you use sound wave. Okay, so all this, the wavelength is much lesser than the gap of doorway. So you will not be able to see a diffraction happening there lah. Okay, so that's how you can think of the principle of diffraction. Best answer is A. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.